Hey everyone, it's Sydney and welcome back to Making Up. I'm trying something a little different today, so hopefully this video works out. This is actually on my iPad, so I'm really pumped to actually be trying this for the first time. This is going to be an empties video. So I did an empties video probably a month or so ago, and I'm really excited to do another one to show you like the products I've been using up. A lot of them are sample sizes and smaller sizes, but some of them are full size products. So I'm gonna jump right into it. So, the first product I finished was the Hawaiian Tropics Golden Paradise Fragrance Mist. I really liked this scent, and I actually bought a bunch of them already. I think it smells a little bit like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. So, I really like this. Would highly recommend. It's $8 at Walgreens, so it's pretty smoking deal, too. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. And I'm obsessed with this. I love the smell of it. You can even smell a little bit of it. It's like kind of like a lemony, sort of minty feel. I don't know. I love the smell of it. It's really great for oily skin. I switched between this and the Clinique back and forth. And to be honest, I purchase a lot of both of them. Just when there's a really good sale or something. Or bonus points because I know I'm going to use them. I go through moisturizer like water. So I would repurchase that. This is a Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I tried this out and I loved it. I thought like, oh, there's no way it cleans brushes that good. And then I used it and oh my God, it's amazing. Um, let's see if it has an actual, hmm. I think it does contain alcohol in it, but it's an antimicrobial disinfectant. And it works great. I bought the 32 ounce one. That's what's in that Sephora box back there. And it'll be great for when I need to clean my brushes quickly. Okay. The next product I see in here. Well, this isn't actually an empty. So some of these are not empties or products that like didn't work out and they're just not worth it. This is in the Meet Melissa Michelle palette. And I didn't really love the formula or the color, but as you can see, the wand's broken. I am holding on to this in case I want to return the palette and get one that works but I don't even know if I would use this anyway so I'm just gonna throw that to the side all right powders I want to go through that because I go through powders a lot especially in the summer because I'm very oily this is the bare minerals bare skin powder <sighs> just went everywhere foundation and this was a little sample size it's really hard to get this bit out like the ring right there so if you have any advice on that, please leave it down below. But um, I don't know. It was okay. Like, I don't feel like it set my... Oh, and this is in the shade medium. I don't think medium was very medium. It fits me, as you can see. Like, you know. But um, it was okay. Like, nothing crazy good. But whatever. Wouldn't repurchase. But and this one I really did like. This is the Pacifica. This is broken. I've used it a lot. Pacifica Neutral Mattifier with Cherry and Minerals. Smells a little intense. Don't really like that part of it. I love the packaging. It's super cute. Like the little cherry blossoms on it. The packaging is adorable. I'm really bummed that it broke because I would have maybe held onto it a bit. Maybe I still will. Like just, yeah. And use that for some type of art project. But I really did love the powder is good I would consider repurchasing when I run out of more pressed powders or loose powders this is a loose powder by cover effects that I finished today and this is light in the illuminating setting I really do like it I think it keeps me matte I don't like the illuminating properties of it as you can see it's a little gives a little bit of a white cast and the areas that you really put it on so I just took a beauty blender and stamped it down after I put on some setting spray but I have purchased the regular Cover FX setting powder in that small size. This is the Mario Badescu, I think that's how you say it, Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber and Green Tea. This is in the four ounce. I got it in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Very affordable. I think it's definitely worth it. I have the rose one right now, and I do think I like the aloe one better for my oily skin, but I would recommend this. Let's do perfume. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame right now, but I've really been getting into fragrances lately, as you can see from the mist, but this is the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Perfume. 
I would not repurchase this one. It's a little too sweet for even my taste, which I love super, super sweet perfumes usually. But um, also not, not just keen on like the packaging and I don't feel like it lasted long where I feel like this one had way better lasting power. This is the Kat Von D Center perfume. The packaging is gorgeous. Like the bottle is insanely beautiful. I love it. I definitely would repurchase this one, but when I finish some of my other fragrances. Let's see what else we got in here. So, I have a handful of lip balms or lip products. So, we'll try and get through those. But here is another one of those foundations from what's the physician's formula? <laughs> it's the cushion foundation. I like the packaging, it's cute, wouldn't repurchase, just not my favorite foundation after trying a bunch of other ones. And yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Next, I have quite a few lip products actually. So I try to go through my sample lip products. I have two of the Tarte birthday gift ones. My mom gave me hers. Uh, one of them I completely finished. The other one just was really chunky and weird, which I did not enjoy. But overall, this formula, I've tried the ones from um, the Graveyard Girl collaboration, and I do like those. Uh, the color's beautiful, so if you're getting your birthday gift, I would recommend that. This is the Sugar Nude Tinted Lip Treatment. I was really trying to get through this because I just didn't really like it. It has SPF. It smells great. The taste though, like the aftertaste on your lips is awful, like horrible. So I did not like that. I went through this mini size of a Marc Jacobs lipstick. There is a little bit left, but it's so like thin and weird that I'm just calling it good and moving on. Um, I did really like this. Would I purchase, in the, purchase this in the full size? Maybe if I went through a bunch of other lipsticks, but really the formula is nothing crazy special compared. If I had the opportunity to choose samples, I would choose this again. Lip balm. This is another one from Sephora. This is the rose. I've been recently obsessed with rose scented and flavors. I did like this. I don't feel like it did a ton for my lips. So I don't think I would repurchase this just personally. This one I loved, I was obsessed with. This is the first lip product I went through in a long time because I just didn't go through lip products fast because I suck and <laughs> I hold on to things. So this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Lip Balm in the shade, sorry it smells delicious, Rose and it's kind of a little bit of a berry tint to it. And I love this, I would consider repurchasing it once I get through some more of my balms and my lip products. And yeah, it did go a long way, relatively. And the last product is this NYX Intense Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Peanut Brittle. I really like this gloss. There's like a little bit left in there, but it's so hard to get out and get a full application. So I'm done with this guy. I really did like it. I have repurchased some different colors. So yeah, I would consider repurchasing this one as well though. This is the Quickie Contour Stick from Benefit. I have topped this guy off. That extra right there is actually just plastic, but I liked it so much that during the big like times five points or whatever, um, I bought it in a full size. I love the tone. I like the little bit of orangey tone it has. So I obviously did repurchase that one. Now I'm gonna go through. Let's see here. I'm gonna go through a few brushes that did not work out for me. Um, and I've kind of like broke. So this one right here is a contour brush that is like kind of breaking on me. Like it's swiveled back and forth, so it's just not really useful. So I'm chucking that. Same with these two e.l.f. brushes. They've kind of broke off. It's that cheaper line, so they just break off really easy. This is Crown Brushes. I plan on giving this to a friend because some people really like these. I hate <laughs> these stupid flimsy fan brushes, even for highlighting. I just don't enjoy them, so... Since this is more expensive, I'm probably going to see if a friend wants it, but yeah. And then this is a Jessie's Girl brush. Once again, just really flimsy. Um, I thought about using it more for like blush, but it just kind of goes everywhere. So 
I will be holding on to those, but for the purpose of giving to friends. And then I have a whole handful of other things down here. This is another little perfume sample. This is Black Opium from YSL. Scent was okay, I wouldn't repurchase. Um, well, I didn't purchase that one, but I wouldn't purchase a full size. So I went through four LA Girl Slim, or Shady Slim pencils, brow pencils. So I've determined that actually this is not the best pencil, or oh, wait, one's Black Radiance, sorry. Black Radiance pencil, probably would not repurchase, it was a little too warm for me. I went through three of the LA Girl pencils since I started buying them. So I've determined that although these are really good and cheap, they break way too much for me. Um, so I'm not going to say I wouldn't repurchase, but I think I'm going to purchase these alongside maybe the Benefit pencil because that one lasted me for months. And yeah, see how that combo works out and see if these last longer. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. It was a sample size I got and it was pretty, pretty dried out or well, Right out at the bottom, but really goopy at the top, so just not, I'm not gonna hold on to that. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. It dried out way too freaking fast, would not repurchase, and would not recommend. This is the Cabral by Benefit. I did like it, but I wouldn't repurchase it in the full size. Um, it was too soft of a pomade for me, so not a fan. Not a fan of that aspect, it was okay. Here's the Ico Skinny Liquid Liner. This one also dried out. It's really weird because like the tip is saturated with product, but it doesn't come off nice. That was from an Ipsy bag though, so I usually don't expect those products to last long. These two mascaras, just you know, once they start getting a little old, they don't work for you as well, so that's why I'm done with those. I would repurchase the Rock Doll, Rock and Doll XXXL Volume by Essence, but I would not repurchase the Lancome Monsoir, big. Just don't think it's worth the money. But it was a great little birthday gift. So that's all for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!